as some good news coming in from the UK. For the first time since July of 2020, England, Scotland and Northern Ireland have recorded zero new COVID-related deaths. Meanwhile, Wales has reported only four new COVID-related fatalities. More than 127,000 people have lost their lives to the coronavirus in the UK. Experts say that the UK's latest figures indicate that vaccines and lockdowns help contain the spread and impact of the virus. And Queen Elizabeth II, while delivering her speech at the state opening of Parliament, outlined the government's plans to bounce back from the damage done to the economy by a year of lockdowns. My Lords and Members of the House of Commons, my government's priority is to deliver a national recovery from the pandemic that makes the United Kingdom stronger, healthier and more prosperous than before. To achieve this, my government will level up opportunities across all parts of the United Kingdom, supporting jobs, businesses and economic growth and addressing the impact of the pandemic on public services. My government will protect the health of the nation, continuing the vaccination program and providing additional funding to support the NHS. My ministers will bring forward legislation to empower the NHS to innovate and embrace technology. Patients will receive more tailored and preventative care closer to home. Measures will be brought forward to support the health and well-being of the nation. As numbers decrease, the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson has announced the easing of COVID-19 restrictions on Monday. Listen in. Deaths and hospitalizations at their lowest level since last July. Uh, the, and the UK's four chief medical officers today agreeing a reduction in the alert level. The data now support moving to step three in England from next Monday, the 17th of May. The UK's alert level has been lowered from a four to a three. It means that the transmission of coronavirus is no longer high or rising exponentially, but it is still in general circulation. Now, under level three of COVID restrictions, people across England will be able to hold indoor meetings, pubs, restaurants, movie theatres and other indoor entertainment and hospitality venues have also been reopened. Now, the limit for outdoor gatherings has been raised to 30 people. This unlocking amounts to a very considerable step on the road back to normality, and I am confident that we will be able to go further. Subject to the impact of step three on the data. Johnson urged people not to abandon caution and to follow all social distancing norms at workplaces, shops and at restaurants. Now our London Bureau Chief Mandy Clark is joining us live from London for more on this. Good to have you with us Mandy. Now this is very good news for the UK. What is the plan now with regards to lockdown restrictions and will there be a more cautious approach to reopening? Well, uh, there there has been great pressure from parts of the media saying, you know, we should be moving much faster. He's really sticking to the roadmap, which he outlined all the way back in January, uh, and he's not moving on those dates. So a lot of people feel since COVID deaths are so low now that um, all, all levels of restriction should be lifted. That's certainly not what the prime minister is advocating. He is moving to step three of the plan. And we can assume if everything goes well, he said and indicated, but uh, he always says it depends on the data. Uh, if by the end of June, uh, all social distancing measures, if it continues to go well, will be lifted. So no masks, um, the ability to, to get together life pretty much as normal. But Again, a lot of pressure from parts of the media asking for that to happen sooner. Um, the success of these restrictions li lifting is really seen uh, as part of that um, vaccination rollout and the number of adults who have now been inoculated. They feel confident, uh, even though that there is COVID circulating still in the environment, that there's a level of protection and they're really aiming for that herd immunity. 
Right. Mandy, now we heard uh, the Queen during her speech addressing issues facing the economic bounce back following the repercussions of the year-long lockdown. What are some of the details that came out of that address? So the main message here was after jabs, 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 it's jobs, jobs, jobs. Uh, this is very much a conservative message uh, to this new um, places which they gained a foothold in. What was formerly known as that Labour Wed Wall, there was um, by-elections that happened last week and the Tories maintained their hold. So this is a commitment to those areas where they said they'll be levelling up, that it's not just going to be the the seats of power, which are London and Manchester, that will see where all those jobs are. He wants those wider areas that have been deprived and didn't have as much uh, resources being put into it. He's promising more focus uh, on levelling up and jobs. And so this is very much a pitch to those people as well and to the wider um, British public, because after a very long year of COVID, people want that economy to kickstart. So that was really the main focus. But the message is to the new Tory base. No, 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 no. Mandy, thank you very much for joining us with all the latest details coming out of the UK there. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.